Ken Griffin, Citadel, what a guy he is. Where are you, Ken? Where the hell is he? He's trying to hide some of his money. Look, he doesn't want to stand up. Where the hell is Ken? See, Steve, you'll stand, and he's very quiet about it. He's in here someplace. He just doesn't want to stand. What a guy he is. Ken Griffin trying to hide all of his money. Where the hell are you, Ken? As Trump calls out Ken back in 2020, long-lasting beef, old beef, ends up resurfacing. As Donald Trump calls out Ken Griffin. Donald Trump will go after the biggest market maker, aka liquidity provider, in capital markets, Ken Griffin and Citadel. And if it happens in an illiquid stock market environment, that could be your black swan event. Now, I don't know if you understand how serious this is. Citadel is the largest mark maker, the largest liquidity provider. Donald Trump is arguably one of the largest presidents, whether that's popularity wise, controversial wise, either way, everybody knows Trump. Everybody knows Drew Social. Rather than support our common sense efforts to promote transparency and compliance, Citadel Securities bizarrely targeted our CEO with an unhinged attack. Now, what are they talking about? Billionaire Ken Griffin, Citadel Securities, has called the former congressman who runs Donald Trump's media business a loser after he named the powerful trading firm in a letter suggesting that an illegal form of short selling was responsible for its plummeting stock price. And the reason why, because there is a battle royale going on right now between Devin Nunes, who runs Trump's media company, you know, he's the former con Republican congressman, and a, he, he essentially picked a fight with Ken Griffin of Citadel, and here's what he claimed. He said that there is credible evidence, or there's evidence, there's p potential evidence, I'm paraphrasing, that there's naked short selling in shares of DJT, it's a short selling technique where it's essentially illegal, it helped push down the shares. That's why DJT lost, for a time, 60% of its value. It's popping up a little bit today. And there are firms that are kind of involved in that, in that, in that genre of, of potentially illegal trading. And one of them is Citadel. That prompted this response from Citadel. We should put it up there. Do we have it? Devin Nunes is a proverbial loser. <laughs> who tries to blame <laughs> naked short selling for his falling stock price. Nunes is exactly the type of person Donald Trump would have fired if he were on the presence. If he worked at Citadel, we would fire him. <laughs> That's his ability and integrity. His ability and integrity is at the center of everything we do. Okay, so obviously they deny. <laughs> that Here's their response. Citadel Securities, a corporate behemoth that has been fined and censored for an incredibly wide range of offenses, including issues related to naked short selling, and is world famous for screwing over everyday retail investors at the behest of other corporations, is the last company on earth that should lecture anyone on integrity. Trump Media alerts NASDAQ to potential market manipulation from naked short selling of DJT stock. The warning came after Trump offered shareholders detailed instructions on how to avoid lending their shares to short sellers. Keep in mind, Trump owns nearly 60% of Trump media shares. The paper value of his stake has dropped by billions of dollars since his stock began public trading in March, and he claims that this is illegal short selling tactics, specifically Citadel, specifically Ken Griffin. Now, here's what happens when you call out Citadel like Donald Trump just did. Investor turf is also going against Ken Griffin going against Citadel Securities for the scum of the earth that they are. And they quote, here's what happens when you call out Citadel LLC, the hedge fund, Citadel Securities, the market maker, Citadel Connect, the non-registered dark pool for manipulating stocks. Number one, they'll label you a loser or conspiracy theorist, which is exactly what just happened. Ken Griffin says loser. Number two, they'll send you a frivolous cease and desist letter in attempt to bully your organization. As soon as you challenge them, they back down like cowards, unable to dispute the information. So they resort to anything but that. So knowing that they don't have a true backbone, knowing that they don't have true merit, they're going to bully a corporation. If that corporation decides to, you know, get scared, so to speak, they'll back down and that's their one sort of threat. However, if the corporation continues to attack, Citadel Securities is likely to not admit nor deny and likely to pay a fine. And this is what they have done in the past since the early, early, early 2000s. Now, recently, the CAT system has been talked about. It's being implemented in May and Ken Griffin doesn't like this. Citadel Security actually has a call to action against the CAT system being implemented. SEC is illegally collecting data 
of every citizen who invests in the stock market according to a new lawsuit. Now, this isn't directly by Ken Griffin, but you kind of get that there's probably ties here. And this is all for transparency. This is the same exact guy that lied under oath to the House Committee on Financial Services. And this is a video that is extremely hard to find, but InvestorTurf managed to secure a copy for us. So we are going to show you guys Ken Griffin lying under oath. Well, that's not what the public thinks. The public thinks that there was collusion, that the big guys, all of you guys were figuring out how to do this and ultimately come out ahead as you always do. Um, but did you talk to them about restricting or doing anything to prevent people from buying, not selling, but buying in game stock? Let me be anybody in your organization. Let me be perfectly clear. Absolutely not. So if we depose everyone in your organization, we will find that. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Well, that's not what the public thinks. The public thinks that there was collusion, that the big guys, all of you guys, were figuring out how to do this and ultimately come out ahead as you always do. Um, but did you talk to them about restricting or doing anything to prevent people from buying, not selling, but buying in game stock? Let me be anybody in your organization let me be perfectly clear. Absolutely not. So if we depose everyone in your organization, we will find that. That is correct. OK, thank you. Finally, in the light of the ongoing fraud between True Social and Citadel, it's evident that our articles exposing Citadel's fraudulent behavior are having an impact as companies are now publicly calling them out. Our articles have reached millions of readers and in response, we will be publishing our iconic 40,000 word report on how counterfeit shares are created, which was previously read by millions. Our mission is far from over. We are not done with Citadel or Verd2. InvestorTurf continuing to go after Citadel, continuing to go after corrupt people. Go follow them on Twitter. I'm excited for that to come out. Now, it's no doubt that Ken Griffin is likely to be naked short selling or illegally short selling or manipulating the stock price of DJT. And I want to put that at the end of this video. Citadel also has a $65 billion liability in 2021 that has never been paid. They have securities sold, never repurchased. And in Citadel's view, those securities were overpriced and the 2022 market was going to get funky whether it wanted to or not. So they maliciously failed to deliver $65 billion worth of securities. Instead, Citadel pocketed retailer cash and has yet to buy their problems back. It's probably a moment in time. You know, we, I mean, replay the history. You've got these, this enormous stimulus program from the federal government sending checks to, to tens of millions of American households. And a fair number of those households did not need the cash. They put it into the stock market. And, and people were looking for connection. They were looking for something to be involved in. You had the rise of the Wall Street bets and the whole Reddit phenomena. And I don't want to say our stock market devolved into entertainment, but there was certainly an entertainment um, dimension that came into play with money that that was in some sense just dropped out of the skies into people's wallets. And and they took a run at the stock market and, and GameStop and AMC and dozens of other meme stocks. I like to think it was a moment in time. So I like to think that's the case. It's not how capital formation works best. And frankly, a lot of it came from a place that I don't think it was very healthy, which is like Let's try to you know, take a firm like Melbourne and, and put them into bankruptcy. Like, great. So you, you basically help wipe out the pension plans of teachers. You feel good about that? It's not Gabe's money that you're taking down. You're taking down the money of a pension plan that belongs to a teacher. So I don't, I don't think it, was a very, it wasn't a very good moment in American capital markets history. But I think you have to replay history and go, where were we as a country? And people were locked up in their basements, kind of losing their minds. So it's a COVID phenomenon. Now, the company's risk is that the value of each of these securities will increase. And in order to prevent that, they will use these illegal manipulative tactics. Close out the video. Here is DJT stock completely whipsaw over the past few months since January of 2024. Catapulting once, twice, and three times all the way from $17 to $80 in a matter of four months. Is this over? Are short sellers going to get away with this? Is Donald Trump even not powerful enough to take on Ken Griffin? What are your thoughts in the comments down below? Let me know if you think Citadel did this. I assume you guys are smart enough to figure this out on your own. Drop hashtag Citadel scandal in the comments down below. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.